Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls and people of all binaries, I am Wolfgang Wilcox, your friend from the UK, and as chosen by my Twitter followers, welcome to Her Majesty's Spiffing. A Monkey Island point-and-click style puzzle game. Very funny game, decided to throw it in there for the fun a bit, and it actually got chosen. So, let's go. <laughs> uh, uh, new game. In the wake of political developments during the summer of 2016 and the events that followed Britain for... All right, then. Actually, the Green Blue, the elected representative of Westminster, no longer the fit to go in the United Kingdom. Damn right. Dissolve Parliament, turn the United Kingdom into an autocratic government, improvements were immediate and wide-ranging. Ever the pragmatist, Her Majesty concluded that given the complications Britain was facing, turn to focus would turn the attention to the stars. Yay! Dated political commentary! Here we are, Sub Lieutenant Jones. Space, the final frontier. I am Captain Frank Lee English, and these are the voyages of the starship HMSS Imperialize. Our mission to explore strange new worlds, to seek out new civilizations, to boldly go where no man has gone before. Rousing stuff, Captain English, sir. <laughs> you really think so? I was afraid it would sound a little bit cliched. Uh... The last thing I'd want would be for anyone listening to think that was going to be representative of the quality of all our dialogue throughout this entire voyage. Perhaps it's best not to heighten expectations too early on, Boyo. Yes, Jones. A healthy dose of self-deprecation should neutralize the mildly xenophobic nature of the mission we've been tasked with by Her Majesty, Queen of Great Britain and of the Commonwealth realms. Yeah, so long as we can avoid resorting to trite nationalistic jokes, we should be fine. Yes, I absolutely agree, Sub Lieutenant Jones. Well, I'm past. Who's for tea? You stay here at the controls, Jones, while I navigate to the ship's kitchen facilities to acquire a refreshing beverage. The walk will give me the chance to familiarize myself with the intuitive navigation system. Can you grab us a cup, too? 
Maybe. I feel compelled to say an authoritative yet non-committal perhaps in this circumstance, Jones. It would be an appropriate reason to practice using the inventory system, yet I fear that such a magnanimous gesture may erode the command hierarchy aboard this vessel. I'll be on my way now, just as soon as I choose to exit this chair. Sub-Lieutenant Jones! Aye, boyo. How do you take your tea? Milk? Sugar? Look warm? Just in a cup would be lovely, thanks. Can I get you anything else from the kitchen? A biscuit, perhaps? Oh, I'd love a biscuit. Bring us back a Jaffa cake. Jaffa cakes aren't biscuits. They're cakes. How can they be cakes? Look at all the size of them. Weren't you taught that size isn't important? It's never been an issue for me, boyo. No, uh, me neither. <laughs> so how's the family back in old Blighty? Eh? Been keeping up with the Joneses? Mum and Dad are fine, and Harriet's getting ready to go to uni in Swansea. Fantastic! What's she studying? 3D computer animation. Oh! Well, uh, let's uh, agree, I guess. Don't mind me. If I do that, I'll have to go on a course. <laughs> it's Whale's own son, Sub Lieutenant Jones. Okay, let's go. <laughs> the humble tray table. I don't believe the isolation of space has forced me to talk to the furniture just yet. Best stow this for now. Safety instructions. I would do well to study these closely in case of an emergency, like we're stranded in a mobile in space. I'll have to take a closer look at these safety instructions for peace of puzzle. I mean mind. Peace of mind. It looks like you're trying to solve a puzzle. Why? The humble paperclip. A staple of any adventure gamer's inventory. That leads out of the cockpit. Now, to find the kitchen. If memory serves me correct, it's just down this corridor, beyond the fourth wall. The animators rather we leave it on. Less things to move. It's an informative map displaying the many high-definition areas aboard Her Majesty's spaceship Imperial Eyes. Now, let's see. That leads into the bedroom. Aren't you supposed to be going to the kitchen, boy? You won't find anything fit for human consumption in there. All right, all right. It's a standard issue second hand treadmill, complete with squeaky belt, broken headphone jack, and the thin coating of a stranger's sweat. Smash 
Thank fucking fuck. Best stop before I start to lose my games, brah. <laughs> This computer is full of secret data. We keep the intel inside. Hmm. There appears to be something stuck in the drive. Cutting edge 20th century tech. Gosh, no matter how many times I keep clicking on things, this drive won't become unblocked. I'll have to think of something else. Let's see if prodding this around fixes anything. Aha! Nice. 1.44 megabytes of virgin digital space. Salad's mug, isn't it? Cup of cha. It's for my Rosie Lee. Sorry, Cockney crockery. Cup of cha. Of course, in England, they'd call it a Hoover. Danger back. Surely you can't be serious. Of course, it's not really correct to call any vacuum cleaner a Hoover because that's a brand name. You know, it's like saying all game systems are Nintendos. It's an inconspicuous economy toaster. Feeling rather peckish. That settled it. I'm going gluten free when I get back to Old Blighty. Mild green washing up liquid. It's a popular household brand of washing up liquid. I mean, if I can take it, I might as well. It's a fridge. Why? It's packed to the rafters with mild English cheddar. Jeez. Plenty dish, yeah? That's the radio wave oven. It's the same idea as a conventional microwave oven, except while your meal is cooking, you can listen to the cricket on Radio 5. <laughs> Gertie. It's our autonomous beverage dispensing robot, Gertie. What are your prime directives? I'll just get piping hot tea all over my hands. And I didn't enjoy that the first time. Okay. One day it became self-aware. The next it was writing the script for an adventure game. It 
It really takes the misery out of making tea. the downside of having a sentient being responsible for making the tea is that every so often it forgets how much milk to add. That leads into the sitting room. Of course, it lacks the precision of a mouse and keyboard. Now, oh, whatever. Greatly improves one's cognitive functions. Don't take my word for it. Ask science. Good thing I spotted that then, since that's something I can take. The upholstery is made from genuine organic polyester. Presumably the manufacturer opted for shards of metal as opposed to goose down. Huh. Boy, is that relatable. My server's beat up to fuck too. Boy's getting poked. Any danger of making that tea, boyo? Awfully sorry for the delay. Never mind, boyo. How did you manage to carry it in there without spilling any? Well, I've just been very careful. Ever since that whole Deepwater Horizon incident. Oh, <laughs> terribly sorry. I appear to have given you my cup. What? But that's disgusting. It's got just saliva over it and everything. That is totally against health and safety. I think you're overreacting. It's got your saliva on it, Beth. It's like we've been kissing. That is like sexual harassment as well. I can honestly say that we haven't been up here long enough for that particular issue to arise. Yet. Uh-huh. Good heavens! What a waste of perfectly good tea. I think we should be more concerned about the irreparable damage done to the ship's steering system. Both problems, by the way, are your fault. You know, in various cultural and religious ceremonies, the symbolism behind sharing a cup is quite unifying. Regardless, we'll have plenty of time to argue about this now that we're stranded. Unless, of course, we can replace the controls with something else. When you say we... I mean the royal we. I'll sort this out. Don't move. I don't want you dribbling on anything else. Honestly, okay. you're worse than the elderly. <laughs> Find something to replace the controls with, eh? I think I might have just the thing. Here, plug this in. See if it works. Uh, that isn't going to be much use without batteries, boyo. What? Are they included? And remove a superfluous hurdle present simply to prolong a problem you've long since figured out? Huh. When is that ever the case? Huh. Yes, very Monkey Island indeed. I suppose I can go to the bedroom to try and find him now, can I? Hmm. Oh, 
be stuck. Got something out of it, Mike. With great power comes great responsibility. Wow, what is it? What did I pick up? Oh, that's the batteries. Okay. Sabukio. Now, what do we have here? Ah! <laughs> it might fit Allard's dainty hand. I have a bit more girth. No flagship worth its salt would be without a draconian list of rules to adhere to. It specifically says no rustling. It specifically says no rustling. Right. Oh my god, even the toilet seat. Uh, I'm prone to stage fright with an audience. <laughs> Without the right tools for the job, I'm not risking it. Oh, wait. Combine with controller, uh, rubber gloves, quip, cat litter. It might fit Allard's dainty hand. I have a bit more girth. All oh, right, yeah. Have you found something to replace the controls you broke yet? Here, plug this in. See if it works. No joy, Boyo. What? what? Is it supposed to be plug and play? No, Boyo. You'll have to install the drivers first. Well, can't you just download them in here? The Wi-Fi can't reach this part of the ship. Try getting online in one of the other rooms. See if you can download the drivers onto something and bring it here. I suppose you will just be sitting here in the meantime. That's how the genre works, but if it ain't broke, don't fix it. And if it is broke, well, it's probably a tedious puzzle to fix it. Yeah. Just a bit. I think that's to do with a floppy disk I picked up. Now, to download this driver, I just need to connect to the internet first. Bingo! Found it! Now I just need to save it onto something so I can install it in the cockpit. Cutting edge 20th century tech. Is it me or is the cable not plugged in? Mm, very odd. It won't let me save onto the disc. Ah, uh, hang on. I can't I seem to see. save onto it for some reason. I can't seem to save onto it for some reason. There we go. Cutting edge 20th century. Safeguard is in place. 
don't copy that floppy and all that shit. Fantastic. Now to quickly copy this driver. <laughs> yeah, sounds about right. Whoa, whoa. Oh. oh, sorry. Oh, gosh, is that the time? It'll be starting to get dark outside. Best check up on Alec and see if he's dried off. Fucking dark outside. It's remarkable how much information can be stored on something so compact. Chap, but not in that way. Bro. Sub Lieutenant Jones. Allard. Wake up. Wake up, Allard. Oh, this is useless. He'll be out for hours unless I can think of another way to wake him up. <sighs> what have I got on me? Do I splash him with the other mug? Playing up, boy. I'm sorry. I don't know what came over me. It felt like someone else was in control of my inhibitions. Just give me the driver so we can GTFO. GTFO? Get things functioning and online. You need to swat up in your acronyms, FFS. For future scenarios. Here. Install this, and we should be underway again. Uh, you could have used my USB pen, you know. What? Is that another one of your acronyms I'm supposed to know? What? Universal Serial Bus? Ha! <laughs> serial Bus. I know you're just making that one up. Um, well, boyo, I've got some good news and some bad news. Which one do you want first? I'll take the opportunity to indulge in a fleeting moment of comfort and reassurance prior to being crippled with anxiety and fear. All right, Boyo. Well, the good news is the drivers are installed. The bad news is that one of us is going to have to descend into the dark depths of the ship to perform the emergency systems reset procedure. You mean turn everything off and on again? <laughs> exactly, Boyo. Yeah, presumably I'll be the one doing the legwork, as usual. Well, if you want, we could make it seem like you had a choice in the matter. Hey, we'll flip for it. Heads or tails? <laughs> tails are your way. <laughs> tails never fails. It's heads. Blast. I can't help but feel that somehow that was always going to happen. What fates impose that men must needs abide. It boots not to resist both wind and tide. Gosh, the writing on this voyage just stepped up a level. That was borderline Shakespeare. Aye, borderline. Uh, right, I'm off. Lower deck. That leads out of the cockpit. I haven't been up here long and already I think I've started to lose muscle density. Yeah, sure. On a more positive note, it would appear my bone density has remained unaffected. Triple action. Removes grease, fights odors, preserves one's dignity while attempting to squeeze through a narrow opening. The Holy Trinity. 
of cleaning products. If you want a job done around here, you've got to do it yourself. Whilst that did smell like a spring breeze, it did chafe a turd. I'd better go carb-free when we go back to old Blighty. Eh? Self-destruct switch. Do I dare? That switch activates the self-destruct sequence. Guess not. We made that mistake once before. Once before. used to store tools. Commonly referred to as a tool box, I believe. It's a precision-engineered German motorized screwdriver. The other toys left aren't nearly as exciting. As I said to the boys on our rugby tour of the Netherlands back in 87, I'm not touching that without adequate protection. So, a rubber gloves that I can't wear. It's a long voyage, so we have to recycle urine into drinking water. Well, more specifically, we recycle urine into sub Lieutenant Jones' drinking water. <laughs> if you could bottle it, you'd make a fortune. <laughs> it's part of the laboratory equipment the biologist we were supposed to have on board brought. Well, what happened to him? It's part of the laboratory equipment the biologist we were supposed to have on board brought. I'm not sure what happened to him. No one's seen him for weeks. Not to worry. Uh, I'm sure he'll turn up. Gosh! It's full of the blighters. Hmm. It doesn't appear to be working. It has a warmth that you simply don't get with digital. Especially if you burn the sleeve as well. It doesn't strike me as much of a talker. Preserved thanks to the tireless efforts of hipsters from all corners of Shoreditch. <laughs> No matter how bad things are going, I find it helps to put a positive spin on things. Oh, I just noticed it's connected to the record player. Hang on. Quick. It's a pedal-powered vintage gramophone. Put it back on.
biggest if floor I'd filler since concrete. The technology predates most Brexit supporters <laughs> by at least 40 years. Ha! <laughs> ha! Oh! Ha <laughs> uh, ha! B-side, lily pad lullabies, I thought so. Put the frogs to sleep, so maybe I can take one then. Seems to be one of those pay to win games. Okay. There's no place like home. How very retro. <laughs> it's a save point, which is unnecessary because you can save anywhere. It isn't great for the environment. Replacement ribbons are a real biohazard. <laughs> ah, Resident Evil. Hmm. Property of Irvin Schrödinger. Box is sealed shut. Why? It would be impossible to determine the fate of any biological life form inside. Out. Yeah, stranded in space. Air compressor. Hmm. Genuine British compressed air. Now. Yes. Stretch out the glove. Now it fits on Bella's hand. I'm sure this will come in. Wait for it. Handy, eh? <laughs> Boo! Anyway, let's uh, go back and find the cat.
should significantly reduce the risk of death by electrocution. Always a comforting reassurance. This should do the trick. Jesus! Uh, no, that's... Mm-hmm. Yes. Right. Oops! Oh, like we ever so clumsy. Ah, oh, well. No harm done. Um, let's check Touch back with Alan and see if that's on everything. Oh, and here it's starting to give me the crumbs. Close now we're See, Allard's activated the autopilot and skived off. I'm sorry, I don't believe we've met. I'm Frank, but please, call me Captain English. Welcome. Captain English. How may I be of assistance? So, uh, how's everything going? Are we on track to be finished by tea? ETA to waypoint. Tango Echo Alpha, calculating, calculating, cannot define, please refer to, string length idiom for more details. <laughs> how long is a piece of string? So, how long have you been an autopilot? Calculating, calculating, error, you do not have permission to access this data. I... Don't suppose there's a Mr. Autopilot, perchance? Compiler error. Incompatible types. Access denied. Ouch! I think I'll log off. It is now safe to be removed. Right, well before I find where Aled's buggered off to... See, the autopilot's working. Unlike Sub-Lieutenant Jones. I shall leave this episode here. Thank you for watching. Good night out there, whatever you are.